Hi, it's Dougie Wood, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a SharePoint newsletter inside of SharePoint Online. Now, intranets are great for a whole bunch of different things. One in particular is creating news articles and being able to share them with people. Now, typically, a lot of organizations, especially larger organizations, create monthly or quarterly newsletters, which they then share with all of their staff. Now, we can do this directly from SharePoint, so you don't have to create an email, uh, you don't have to sort of create a PDF or something like that to put all this information together. We can create this from the content which already exists inside of SharePoint. So it's two things. It's speeding up the process, meaning you don't have to um, create a load of manual things. And it's also... Um, drawing people into your SharePoint internet. So when you're using Microsoft 365, what you're trying to do is create a central source of where all the information lives, a single source of truth, so to speak, where everyone can go and get the latest kind of information um, and reduce the kind of overall email traffic and things like that, which are, which are being manually created. So what we can do is we can create our own newsletter directly from our content with inside of our internet. Now, on my internet homepage, I've got a couple of different news areas. We've got the slide across the top. But I've also got this news area here, which is kind of rolling up department-based news. So if I wanted to create, for example, a news letter from this content all I need to do is click on the see all button here and this will take me to an area where I can manage all of my posts so I could use a manage post here if I wanted to delete any news articles for example or I can scroll down and I can see all the previous news articles that have been pulled into this specific feed now you'll see there's a, a button across the top here called email news digest which is on newsletter essentially so if I click on that it's going to say well what um, articles we want to include. So I might want to say I'm going to include the expenses power app launch, um, the uh, changed expenses process, um, as well as uh, the new hardware which is coming soon. Now you can have within reason as many of these as you like, but I would suggest for a newsletter you don't really want more than say three or five sort of articles. Um, then we click on next and it's going to say okay well what do you want to call this particular newsletter? So this might be my uh, winter newsletter I'm going to call this and I can specify who I'm sending this to now this might be uh, like uh, multiple people it could be a distribution list or something like that um, but for now I'm just going to send it to myself and I can put in the message in here so I'll just put in this is some text um, and paste that in a few times so this is the text which is going to appear alongside of my newsletter I can choose to reorder the news uh, items which are in here if I wanted to. And then once I'm happy with all of this, I just click on the Send News Digest button. And that's then going to automatically send this in a defaulted templated email. So here we go. Here's the email that's come through. And you can see it's in a very neutral um, template and sometimes the question gets asked well can you change the template can you add your own styling or colors and at the moment you can't but i would have thought knowing the way microsoft works that would be a feature that would potentially come down the line uh, fairly soon the email does come from a generic no reply at sharepoint online um, again it's not something that is configurable it's just coming directly from sharepoint um, it will show um, your kind of um, text, your title, as well as the kind of the articles in here. And if you choose to, you could go directly to an article by clicking on it, or you can go directly to the internet site by clicking on the go to site button at the bottom. So it's a nice, simple uh, newsletter. Um, it's basically designed for bringing people into your SharePoint intranet. So if people are still used to using emails quite heavily um, to access latest information and content and uh, newsletters which may be already being sent out on a monthly or quarterly basis, then it's a great way of keeping that same uh, medium of information going to people but instead of kind of you having to manually put this all together it's something that's really simple quick to do and then it pulls them directly into the internet to read the full information about that article i hope you found this video useful all about how to create your own sharepoint newsletter from your own sharepoint online intranet if you did find it useful do like the video um, and if you've got any questions use the comments feed below and please remember to subscribe to the channel for future sharepoint top tips